Okay, so we have discovered some Compsoganthus DNA and also some Colancath DNA. That looks like a fish and that looks like a dinosaur, so yeah. Okay, let's keep doing that. Just some sand, that's pretty crummy. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not the most appreciative when it comes to what we get from these. What do we get from this? Dinoxious DNA. I think whichever one we get two of first will be the ones that we use. Stone tablet. What are these used for? Nothing, apparently. Maybe we can like put that back in the analyzer. And see if it does anything. Uh, let us see if we get lucky and it uses the stone tablet. Come on. Obviously not, so the stone tablet is really just useless. Okay, are we gonna get anything out of these relic scraps? If not, I'll put more biofossils in. Uh, I don't think we're getting anything useful from the relic scraps. Okay, usage, what do we use relic scraps for? What do we use biofossils for? Nothing, apparently, besides the analyzer, so really we should just dump all of our biofossils in here. Okay, and in the meantime, another thing we will need for this mod is an ink incubator. I thought we needed an incubator. Actually, dino... Dinopedia? How do we make the dinopedia? I actually, I think the Dinopedia is for when we want to look at what our dinosaurs eat and stuff like that. So let's not get that out yet. Fossils and archaeology. We, so don't want any of that stuff. A culture vat probably. We'll make a culture vat and an archaeology workbench and anything else that looks useful. So we'll make a culture vat because I'm pretty sure that's one of the next things we need. So culture... That's kind of strange. Culture vats need water buckets, cactus greens, glass, and iron. I have some cactus upstairs, or if I don't have any upstairs, I know I have some on our farm that we have. Let's go check on our mana pool. Yeah, so my guess would be that those flowers in the back weren't connected up for some reason. Well, like, not weren't connected up, but I didn't connect them up. So we'll just leave it like this, because this seems to be working much better. That's cool. Is that enough mana? Obviously not. So it's going to take a while to collect enough mana to make all the day blooms we need. So we'll just hold off on Botana, Botania for a little while. And we will start working on fossils and archaeology. Okay. So what we needed was cactus green. Where is our cactus? Can I... S oh, I have cactus right here. Let's make eight of it. Okay, then let's go downstairs. And I should have some more meteorite ingots in here too. Yep. Eight. Let's put the meteorite ingots in the meteorite chest. Oh, I also got fern seeds when I was mining. I was mining, I think, permafrost, and I found some of these. So let's actually go outside and put our fern seed down right here. I can't put it there. Can I put it on plowable land? Oh, our meteorite thing looks pretty cool up there. Let's go ahead and break some of this barley. Can I put the fern in here? No. Let's just throw the barley out. I don't like barley. What about on the base of the wall? I don't know how to use this. I give up. Okay, or can I use it for anything? No. I'll do some research about the fern seeds. Yeah, okay. So we should actually have enough cactus green by now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have four. That's plenty. Let's grab... We're gonna have to craft a new bucket, and we should have glass. Yeah, okay. So let's craft an iron bucket. Iron. Mm, okay. And let's grab some agua so we can make our incubator, not incubator, culture vat. So we'll put the bucket of water, cactus green, glass, and iron. Let's go ahead and take the culture vat. Oh, and we get our bucket back. So I guess we could, I guess we actually are going to need to make multiple culture vats just because of, I want this to go fast. Oh, and it lights up too. Look at that. That's cool. Okay. So culture vat. Oh, this is the thing we need the milk for. I know how to do this too. This is actually why, one of the main reasons why I built the animal past, or pe animal pens. And that's because you can use meat to get your dinosaurs to 
because basically when you're making these dinosaurs, you're making them from old DNA, essentially. So you need to put living stuff back on them. And you can use meats, you can use, I think, just organic fleshy things, or you can use milk. And if you use one bucket of milk, you have enough for making the whole dinosaur. So let's do the deoxygenous thing. I can't even pronounce this. Deinocycus thing first. And I don't know how long this takes. Let's just actually go ahead and craft some more buckets. And we'll see if it'll accept more milk. So let's craft like three more buckets, I guess. And let's put a stack of iron onto smelt. I should have enough ore. Iron. Yep. Okay. And then we will put a stack of iron on. So let's get four buckets of milk from our cows. That's really cruel, but it's okay. Is this mana pool thing done? I can't tell. Let's get mystical red flowers. The sun is setting. We'll go sleep if it's not. No. Okay, so... Or wait, was it? I couldn't tell. Let's put this thing down. Is that a good noise? We'll put that thing down. If it does not change by the time we get back, we will just go upstairs. Okay, we got our four buckets of milk. That was really cruel. We took it all from one cow. Okay, let's grab that and let's go upstairs and sleep. Can I put milk on the floor? No, I can only drink it. Why? See, it's things like that where I question, why did I want to know that? But maybe one day I will be asked, hey, can you put milk on the floor in Minecraft? And I'll say, haha, no, I know that. Yeah, fun fact. Okay, milk, let's go downstairs again. And let's go downstairs again. And let's come over to the dinosaur thing. Oh, okay, we don't need milk. We just need the one bucket. But so what we're going to have to do is make more buckets and fill them with agua. So let's take this iron and we'll make two buckets. Because two buckets are useful. So we probably have buckets up here. Yep, we have two. Well, it's fine. We can use lots of buckets. Okay, so we have four buckets of water, which means we'll make four incubators because we have plenty of cactus green and plenty of grass. So let's get this cactus green. I took the cactus green already. So it's cactus green, but we need more iron. So I should have gotten this iron. So we'll make three for now, but we'll take this glass and then the bucket of water and actually no we'll just make three culture vats because there's probably not point there's not like a point in building more because we really don't need five because once we use these we'll be done with them okay that thing's working let's go ahead and put i really don't want the fish one i want land dinosaurs i'm not oh, i need to put milk in not water let's put the milk in that'll start working what about this have we found any more dinosaur dna no Right, so let's just go ahead and put that Colia DNA in there. And yeah. And in the meantime, let's start building our dinosaur pens. So I've been reading about the best sort of dinosaur pens, and I'm pretty sure I have it figured out at this point. But So what we're going to be doing for our dinosaur pens is a glass wall with a... What do we have more of? Cobblestone or stone brick? We'll get. We'll do cobblestone. We'll do a cobblestone wall with stone brick and then topped with iron fence. So we are going to continue needing to smelt up this iron. Actually, so we get 16, right? 16? Uh, it's not too much. So what we'll do is we will take this cobblestone, three, four, and we will start building the dinosaur pens. Now, I'm not sure which dinosaur I want in this pen. All I know is that I want a dinosaur in the pen. <laughs> Two, three. And I guess what we should do is actually wait until the glass is done smelting. And we should also cut down this tree. So let's cut down this tree. Cut, 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 cut. And yeah. So what we'll do is actually I'll build the base out of cobblestone. And the it's going to be a pretty big enclosure because I want lots of dinosaurs. I think that'll be fun. So let's just bring it. Where should we bring it to? I guess we could go over the mountain like this. So we'll do something like this. Okay. 
And now, what? Broken zombie figurine. Wow, that's pretty cool. That must have taken a long time to code. And we'll just continue to move this thing up, and we'll leave a three wide gap in between. And we'll put it until here. No, I'll leave a three wide gap in between here as well. So now we should actually be able to just go along like this, theoretically. And after we finish the base, we'll go check our mana pool to see if we can make one flower, which would be nice, because I would like to make a bell thorn. Please. So we'll just go around the pond some more. And I'll just make this a sharp corner, because I like corners, I think they look nice. And we will connect it up like this. So let's just build out this wall. Hop. And yeah. Okay. So now... Actually, I really don't like how this wall goes up. It worries me that a dinosaur is going to glitch through it. Because apparently dinosaurs don't like blocks sometimes, and they will glitch through them. And I'd rather not that not happen to us, so I'm just going to be extra cautious when building this dinosaur enclosure. So we'll just go ahead and trim back the mountain. I've trimmed back the mountain a lot lately, so it's it's good. The mountain and I, we have like a mutual understanding of like, you help me and I will make sure, I will do my best to make sure mobs don't spawn on top of you. So let's just mine back this cobblestone wall thing that we had going on here. And we will just make it flat. And we'll replace this dirt with cobblestone. And we will mine up this dirt. I think my inventory is full. Yeah, because this dirt is just flying around my head. Okay, and let eat some bread, because I am muy muy, which means very. See, you guys learn Spanish while I talk. So it's very beneficial Okay, to watch all of my videos. Okay, <laughs> so let's eat some bread. And let's hop over this wall. And let's eat some more bread. And let's move the bread back in our inventory. And let's pick some raspberries because I'm sick of bread. Okay. Mana pool, are you full? It doesn't look like it. We'll try anyway. Is it full? This is really dumb. It's dumb that we have to wait so long to just get mana. Wow. I don't like the fact that this one isn't draining. Oh well. And actually, in the meantime, let's light up the underneath of this tree, because it is very dark, and I don't like how mobs spawn under here. Okay. So we'll put a torch here, and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. We don't need to put one there. We'll put one there, and 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 there. And let's mine up the string. Yay. And was there more string? Yes, there's one down here. Oh, okay. We fixed that very well. Okay. It kind of almost looks like that waterfall is filling lake. Like what? What should the name of our lake be? I really don't know. It's too difficult to think of the name of a lake. Okay. Let's continue with our dinosaur enclosure. So let's go get the glass. Because that'll be fun. Fun. Ha ha. Ha. Very fun. And our glass should be... Oh, we have almost two stacks of it. Wow. Okay, and what about the iron? We have a lot of iron, too. Okay. So let's take this glass. Let's go to our dinosaur exhibit. And let's get out some cobblestone. Let's go up to... And we'll put down a glass. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32. Okay, we've already used a stack of glass, and we've gotten barely halfway around, which is not good. But, oh, I, fr I should have put cobblestone here. Oh, I just wasted two pieces of glass, oh well. And we were also going to have to mine up more sand. So, yeah. Because we have nowhere near enough to go all the way around. 
Okay. Let's go mine. Ow. That hurt. Let's go mine up more sand. Where should we steal sand from? Let's steal it from this little island over here. Ooh, a beehive. Okay, these are from the Growthcraft mod as well. And we can get that beehive on our way back, and that'll let us make mead. That's another good thing we can do, because that was one of our to-do list things. Make mead. So, or not make mead, but make alcoholic and or other beverages. <laughs> yeah, so we'll knock that beehive down. I did a, uh, an episode of New Horizons Labs on Growthcraft, so pretty much an expert on Growthcraft, if you couldn't tell. So we'll just grab that beehive. We don't need any special tools, and the bees won't attack us. At least they shouldn't, because they're no, like, actual bees. So, yeah. Okay. Let's mine back the rest of this, because I don't think the water is going to fix itself if we leave it outwards like this. And yeah, okay. So we're picking up the rest of that, and let's hit this beehive with an axe. And yay, we got some bees. I wonder if we can use the bees for anything. No, I didn't check that. Okay, let's hop up over here. Ow, I almost hit my foot. And let's mine this sand as well. Because we're going to need a lot of glass. But a good thing is, in later eras, we'll be able to convert our dinosaur pen into an office building or something like that. So that's actually very beneficial. What is that thing? I'm not sure. We'll check that out after we get this sand. My guess is that it is a... What do I think it is? I'm going to guess Demon Squid Farm. I, that is my most logical guess at what this thing is. Because I'm not good at... Is it another one of the little spawny things? You know what it may be? Oh my god, a lily lurker. What are you? Let's kill this thing. Did we kill it? I don't know. Yeah, but it's another one of the... It's a lily lurker spawner this time, but it's another primitive mob spawner. Oh, and we got ink from it. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead. What type of wood is this? <gasps> Mahogany wood. Ooh, okay. So we are going to have to mine up this mahogany wood because I don't even really like mahogany wood that much, but it's very expensive. So in future episodes, or future years, we will be building ourselves a mahogany desk. So, yeah, we have plans to build mahogany furniture now. And hopefully, if we're lucky, we'll get a mahogany sapling too. That would be great. Are you going to get lucky? Come on. Let's mine this last mahogany log. Yay, we got mahogany saplings. We are practically billionaires now because we can grow mahogany. Okay, let's mine this last bit of mahogany. And let's grab these mahogany saplings. Great. Okay, let us us go back and see if we were able to get enough mana to make our mana petals.